Hey, happy Saturday. Glad you could join me for today's uh, Ripka reading Neruda during Corona. We have reached poem 32. Yeah, we have five questions today. Some pretty funny ones. All right, here we go. We'll just go ahead and jump right in today. Um, number one, I algo más tonto en la vida que llamarse Pablo Neruda. Yeah, he just put his own name in his own poem. Number two, hay en cielo de Colombia un colo coleccionista de nubes. Tres, ¿por qué siempre se hacen en Londres los congresos de los Paraguas? That's a vivid, that's a vivid one there. Uh, number four, sangre color. De Amaranto tenía la reina de Saba. And number five, cuando lloraba Baudelaire. Lloraba con lágrimas negras. Here we go. So we uh, saw some more names. He's been doing a lot of names recently, right? We had Rimbo the other day, Victor Hugo. Rim oh, we already said Rimbo. Uh, Ruben Dario. Before that, we had... Uh, what other names did we have here? Jose Marti, the Donaldas, the Clorindas, and we had a, we've had a bunch of names. This has been the first time, though, that he has used his own name. Classic Neruda. Here we go. Is there anything sillier in life than to be called... Pablo Neruda. <laughs> Classic Neruda question. Classic Neruda. All right. Number two. Is there a collector of clouds in the Colombian sky? Oh, what beautiful alliteration. Let's read the one in Spanish to see if it alliterates in Espanol. Hay en el cielo de Colombia un coleccionista de nubes. I guess you have the cielo... The S sound, but you got the Columbia collect. So you got three C's here. You got collector of clouds in the Colombian sky. Now I guess in English the sky has the K sound, where in Spanish new base doesn't. So a little more alliteration in the English translation. But yeah, so that was a. Uh, is there a collector of clouds in the Colombian sky? They must have a lot of clouds over there. Number three. Why do uh, assemblies of umbrellas always occur? In London. A lot of rain, I imagine. And number four. Did the Queen of Sheba have blood the color of amaretto? Of course, Queen of Sheba, we know uh, one of the earliest times she's mentioned is in the Hebrew Bible. Bringing gifts to Solomon. Known for her own wisdom and, and wealth. Uh, in a... Amaretto is a sort of sweet Italian liqueur. It's kind of a reddish kind of uh, color. So we have, is the did the Queen of Sheba have blood the color of Amaretto? Interesting. Last one. When Baudelaire used to weep, did he weep black tears? Baudelaire is another French poet. Uh, a little after Rimbaud uh, and Victor Hugo. It's 20th century, I believe. Maybe late 18, early, or late 19, early 20th century. Uh, into symbolism, Baudelaire was, uh, wrote uh, great works on uh, melancholy, spleen. These are some of the titles of his works. So it makes sense. It asks why did he, or when he wept, did he weep black tears? All right, I'm going to go through all five questions kind of one more time and uh, all the way through just to see if there's some rhythm or there's some flow from question to question. Uh, and then I'll leave you uh, to, to contemplate, create, and enjoy uh, your time the rest of this Saturday. Here we go. Your Neruda, read by Ripka during Corona. Is there anything sillier in life than to be called Pablo Neruda? Is there a collector of clouds in the Colombian sky? Why do assemblies of umbrellas always occur in London? Did the Queen of Sheba have blood the color of amaretto? 
And when Baudelaire used to weep, did he weep black tears. I hope your day is not full of any kind of tears, orange, green, yellow, blue, white, black, but instead full of joy, laughter, and imagination. Enjoy the rest of your day.